Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just joking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Nagasaki Striker. This is going to cost $670,000. Looks pretty cool in a strange kind of way, but it's different. And I'm not really sure how I feel about it, to be honest. It looks very weird. You can see we've got some clipping issues with Franklin's foot, where the peg's going straight through the bottom of his foot. And on this side, his other foot isn't even touching the ground so yeah a little bit strange you know like i said i'm, I'm not really sure of how i feel about it it looks all right in like a really weird kind of quirky way like i said it's gonna cost six hundred and seventy thousand dollars um so it's quite expensive for a motorcycle but nevertheless let's crack on with this build so we're gonna start with 100 percent body armor then we're gonna get the brakes we'll get the race brakes engine the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhaust not many options and it doesn't even really look like it's changing much you know, the racer exhaust actually does look a little bit different and looks okay uh, sports exhaust looks a little bit weird and <laughs> the quad exhausts look even more ridiculous i think my favorite was the race exhaust or the racer exhaust so we're gonna go over that one then we're gonna go to the lights we're gonna go headlights and purchase the xeon headlights so we do get a livery option on this which is surprising i wasn't expecting that it could be in a motorcycle um but it just looks like they're gonna be stripes to be honest yeah oh hang on what the fuck is going on there the speed of oh wow <laughs> i thought speed of fire was a uh jet ski brand maybe not maybe it was just a um i don't maybe it's just a a, a brand in gta I, I thought it was the the make of the jet skis but i might be wrong all the others look a little bit weird we've got one with cox written on the side of it <laughs> okay uh and then obviously the jackal one as well <laughs> yeah i'm not a fan of any of the liveries to be fair um so i'm just gonna stay none for the liveries then we've got the rear mud guards, uh, so we've got the carbon. So, yeah, again, it's a very subtle change. Not really going to notice that, you know, unless you, you you change it and you know it's been changed. As something very minor that you're not really going to notice. Uh, but we're going to get the race mud guard. Why the hell not? Then we've got the respray. We're going to go primary color. We're going to go metallic. And I don't even really know what color I want to go with this. Something quirky to go with the quirkiness of the bike. I don't know, maybe like a fucking hot pink or something like that. <laughs> oh, man. Orange. Samurai's orange looks pretty good. That's them wings, man, on the side where the indicators are just above the wheels. Looks weird. I think if it wasn't for those, it would look a lot nicer. Yeah, I don't really understand what that's all about. Are they there just just to have... Indi are they just giant indicators? Is that what it is? I mean, they're not really serving any other purpose, are they? Other than being fucking ugly. Oh, man. Um, gold. What the hell not? Gold looks all right. Then we've got a secondary color, metallic. And this is going to change the blackness of it. Uh, so, maybe silver? Silver and gold? Yeah, why not? Let's go with that. Then we've got the transmission. We're going to get the race transmission and obviously the turbo tuning. For the wheels, we're going to go tyres. Oh, so you can't even change the wheels, man. So we're not even going to fuck about with that. Nah, no windows, so that's it for the customizations. Let's get out on the streets and have a little peek at it in the sunlight. And like I said inside, if it wasn't for those giant indicators, I think it would look a little bit nicer. It's just those i can't see past them and it's really bugging me i don't understand the design of that and i don't really understand why rockstar put them on there other than just to be a giant indicator uh, but anyway let's let's have a little drive and acceleration is actually really quick i wasn't expecting that to be fair um so yeah acceleration is really good on this and it feels like it's picking up speed quite nicely as well oh my god going around corners is awful is that a jitter he kind of leans into it like he's on a superbike and that he, he's putting his knees to the floor, which is weird. That's a weird animation for a bike like this. Because it's not technically a motorcycle, it's a tricycle. 
So it's, yeah, technically a trike, not a bike. Uh, so that animation's really odd. That he's leaning into it like that, because that's the super bike animation. When they obviously go tight into a corner and they put their knee down to the floor. Um, yeah, like I said, acceleration's really good on this. Top speed actually feels pretty pretty solid as well. Reverse is slow as ass, and um, it's just the handling. It just handles like a fucking pig. Don't want to go around that corner either. And when it does go around the corner, if you break around the corner, it just just goes like a fucking little bit mental. Look, what the fuck was <laughs> what was that? Yeah, this is awful for fucking corners, man. Really bad. And now I'm stuck. Yeah, that's not good at all. Really not good. So the customization is lack. Really bad customization. I mean, basically, you can just change the color of it and the exhaust. That's about it. So the customization is really shit. Uh, the handling is really, really bad. And um, so the only good thing about it is the acceleration and the top speed. That is it. And for six hundred and seventy thousand dollars, I wouldn't touch this with a ten foot pole. No way. Why would you want to waste your money on something like that handles like a dog? And the only good thing about it is the acceleration. It don't look nice, in my opinion. It looks weird. Um maybe like I said, if it was just a, a super bike and it had two wheels and it didn't have these crazy ass fucking indicators on the side maybe it would look a little bit nicer you can't even wheelie with it that's shit yeah I, I'd i stay away from this one if I was you guys um, I mean that's just my opinion obviously you can make your own minds up um, but if you fancy this then go for it but for $670,000 I definitely <laughs> won't be going anywhere near this um, like I said, the only good thing about it is the acceleration and maybe the top speed because the top speed actually feels pretty solid. Um, but then you've got a clipping issue where a spike's going through his foot and on this side he doesn't even touch the floor. And when he goes around corners, you've got the super bike animation, you know, when they drop to the, their knee to the ground. So everything about this feels wrong. And um, I don't think it should even really be in the game. I've, this is just one of them vehicles that I think Rockstar have chucked in there to but, you know, boost up the numbers of DLC drip feed, which is a shame. I, I think Rockstar should have just left that out, to be honest, because, uh, yeah, I think the only good thing this is for is a, uh, a grenade, to be honest. That's all this car or this bike is good. Just remembered I got God mode on. <laughs> Fail. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, <laughs> on that note, I'm going to uh, leave the video where it is. Uh, I've said my piece on it, and uh, I'm assuming that the majority of people are actually going to agree with me as well. This this um, vehicle is pretty poop. Uh, so that on that note, I'm going to end the video right there. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Fuck it right in the pussy.